So the question here is the color plate is showing what? So as you can see, there is a split thickness flap that has been created. The flap has been reflected. And we have placed a graph over here. And later on, we have sutured it back into place. The flap has been sutured back into place. And there is root exposure. So the answer over here would be subepithelial connective tissue graph for root coverage. This technique was given by Langer and Langer in 1985, and later on Bruno modified proposed a modification in 1994. So the main reason where you main indications of this procedure is where in aesthetics are of primary concern, that is the maxillary anterior region. However, still a drawback with when it comes to these procedures is that the graft is not does not take up the same color as the adjacent gingiva that is over here that is the reason why we prefer using a flap a split thickness flap so that at least there will be some color matching second is covering the denuded roots that is when you have root sense hypersensitivity or a dehiscence or a fenestration because of which the root has been exposed you can place a graft over there a thin gingival biotype as opposed to other places the maxillary gingiva in general has a thick biotype that means the gingiva width is thick however over here the thin gingival biotype means that you will use uh, when you place the graft the thickness of the gingiva increases this is needed in general for bearing the masticatory stresses and lastly in uh, inadequate attached gingiva this will increase the width of the attached gingiva thereby it will help in uh, the main functions of the gingiva that is stress transformation and uh, aesthetics as well as it prevents plaque accumulation in that area the advantages of the, this technique is, is that it is aesthetics, aesthetically pleasing. The graft is taken from the same patient, therefore the surgery can be completed in one appointment itself. It is a one step procedure in the sense that you reflect the flap, you take the graft, you place the graft and you suture it and it's done. There is minimal palatal trauma because you are taking only a certain amount of connective tissue from the palate and this increases the graft vascularity. The disadvantage is that, is that it is a technique sensitive procedure because we, split thickness flaps are much more difficult to reflect and raise as compared to a complete uh, thickness flap. And the suturing over here is also complex because again you are placing a graft right in between uh, two layers of connective tissue. So it is difficult to suture the graft in this particular position. So what you do is you take a split thickness graph, you take a split thickness flap over here after you place an incision, you reflect the flap, you place the graft over here and you suture it back. 